this live stream or first time watching, this is what I look like. Now, for those who know my channel, I got some news for you guys. <coughs> I start my job Wednesday. So, yes, that's good news is that I'm going to have money. Uh, bad news is I'm not going to be putting out any more uh, that much YouTube videos as normal. But today we're going to be playing a little bit of Minecraft, and I know most of you are like, you need to stay on GTA. Okay. Well, no. It's a yes and no situation. And my live stream is probably going to cut out pretty soon. Internet's been <coughs> acting shit lately. But, um. There's no update yet. Why would I do a video if there's no content that has been added into the game? Makes perfect sense, people. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm just buying some time, you know, you know, enjoying other video games while I can possibly can. So, today we're going to be starting the episode of episode or season one. Episode one of how to build a castle. Now I've been thinking. I mean, you know, and we know we're not gonna just put some a uh, just big jump box and then have the little towers. No, we're gonna do some detailing motherfucking castle build. Now, if you don't like the cussing, I'm sorry about that, but we don't give a crap. <laughs> Now, I know some people have a valid point. Well, this is Minecraft. It's a kid's game. Well, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Uh, well, that's my... I'm the only one in there. I'm not even in a party chat. You guys can't hear anybody else. So... I... Don't give a rat's ass. <laughs> And so, for most of you guys are wondering, hey, join my party chat, join my party, I can't. It's something with my PlayStation Network, and it's, how, how would my dad put, oh, yeah, speaking of today, today's my, and speaking of father, today is my bad school father's birthday. But, how my dad would say it is, am I pissing you off, father? Well, in technicality, <laughs> it is pissing me off. <laughs> so, now, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the, uh, of course, we got a nice, beautiful little, you know, well, I mean, it's a small, decent-sized mother. You know what? I'm going to keep it PG. I'm going to try and really hard to keep it PG. But we got this nice, beautiful lake behind us. And, of course, we're going to build a still well to it to, you know, make it a nice little vacated area. And then in front of us, this is my favorite of it. We get this, we got some good growing grass over there. We got another good set right there. And then we can just build staircases to this whole entire kingdom. Now, I'm going to stretch all the way to... And this is where we're going to build, like, the shipping yards and, you know, going out to sea, etc. like that. Now, just in case if I ever do get lost, I will put something, you know, like a, um, a beacon. And so, alright, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me uh, do something real quick. I'm going to fix the settings, and yes, it's going to make the screen smaller, and absolutely hate it, but I... Absolutely, you know, hate not answering y'all's questions when it pops up. So, stay tuned with me.
So, what's up, Mr. I believe it's Golden Plays Z or something like that? Let me check. Oh, wait. It's right there. Yeah, it's Golden Plays Z. I was like, wait. I forgot. I, I fixed the settings. <laughs> so, remember y me. Trust me, I got a lot of people following me. Uh, not a lot, about maybe 67, maybe 68, or 69 since the last time I checked on my channel. Subscribers, so it's kind of hard to know who who you are. Uh, no, it's Golden Plays Z. Altogether, no. Oh, well, my bad. But, um, you know, I got a lot of people watching nowadays. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna really. I think you remember me by one of my old names. Well, there's a lot of people who watch me while I play GTA. I mean, I get the. Hence, but it's not a lot to lead on to knowing exactly who you are. Okay, so you were Ben. Yeah, now, now I remember. See, all, all you gotta do is say Ben, and then it would just pop right back in my head. How you doing, Ben? But I know in reality is that your real name is not Ben, because you told me that. See, I'm telling you, just a simple word can make me start to remember a little bit of things. I'm sorry, I've been having a whole lot of other stuff happen within the past month. <laughs> like I said, I, I wouldn't remember. Oh, your real name is Ben, okay. Yeah, it's just that, I mean, with your dad thinking about suicide because now he's divorced because his wife was cheating on him. And then, of course, your dad being in the hospital for two weeks, or should I say, in this particular order. I lose my job at Walmart on March 16th, 2018. Okay, hold on. Your real name is Ben. Okay, I got that, but then you said no. But, like I was stating that my father, okay, so I did lose my job in March 16th of 2018. Uh, after that, I finally got a new job, which was only about two months working with my dad. Like Ben, like like I'm telling you, I wouldn't remember anything because, like I'm trying to explain, is that I had a whole lot of shit go on since the last time we talked. 
and I'm trying to explain it to you. Uh, so, of course, I get the new job. It's a job that lasted for two months because it was a, um, a festival. So, after that, you know, about a week after the show, um, I get a call saying that my dad's in the hospital and I needed to go see him. Well, I didn't really need to go see him, but I wanted to. So, after that, uh, I went to go and visit him on my little sister's birthday, where she went with us, as well as my little brother Timothy, who is 16. Um, my dad was in the hospital for enlarged liver and enlarged spleen, as well as a high fever. And, um, about a week after he gets out of the hospital, or within that week, I would say about five to six days, he finds out that his wife... 21 years was cheating on him. He goes ballistic. But not like, you know, I'm gonna hurt you for it. It's just more of, really, how could you possibly fucking do this to me? So, it got to the point where she basically kicked him out. And... Now my dad's homeless. Well, he's out of his girlfriend's house. And so he gets, you know, back on his feet. So, with that being done, my dad was about to end his life. Because I got a text one morning from my dad's girlfriend, who is Cassie, who is a good friend of mine, that I also worked with at Walmart, told me, you need to call your dad. Your dad's done with life. So, of course, I tried calling him, and I, he didn't pick up because I knew he didn't want to talk to anybody because he was really in a bad emotional state. So I asked Cassie what's going on, didn't get a response. Well, I'm guessing she was talking to my dad, trying to convince him to let her pick him up. And so, with that being done, she finally convinced him about seven hours later after him getting tossed out of the house. My dad's been walking around in town for that long. And so, I went to go see him, and it was a very emotional moment. You see my dad completely destroyed. Because this isn't the first time he's gotten a divorcement, and it wasn't just the divorcement, it was a lack of trust. Especially behind his back. And, uh, him not having to get to see his kids. I'm sorry to hear about that. So, it, I told um, YouTube that I wasn't going to post anything within a certain amount of time because I needed time to get a hold of my fucking self. I'm going to say that without PG. 
yes, I was absolutely, you know, I was talking to my friends, letting them know, hey, this is the situation I'm in, and every single time I brought it up, it made me want to cry. And I'm not afraid to admit that I was going to cry. <laughs> it's family. <laughs> you would understand. So... So yeah, with that being said, if you guys come in here and, you know, I'm one of, you're one of my usual people that I talk with from back then, and it's been a while, I won't remember you. It's nothing, I'm not trying to be an ass of me not remembering you, it's just that I've been going through a lot as well. So... Other than that, I am finally getting back on my feet, getting a job. And I know most people are going to tell me that when I tell you this, that I, yes, I still fucking smoke. And I need to quit that shit. And you know what? No. There's one mistake that you make. If, you, if someone smokes and you tell them that they need to quit, they're not going to quit because you're trying to force them to quit. The best way for a person to quit is by them making that ultimate decision. You can't force someone to quit. You can try, but I'm going to look at you like I would any other dumbass. It ain't going to work. <laughs> it's impossible for you to force someone to do something that they... <clears throat> Obviously, don't want to do. So I'm not. I'm not gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna become a little douchebag and tell you that you're fucking stupid. It's just you're gonna be wasting your time trying to make someone stop doing something that you know. Yes, you're trying to show them that you care, but physically trying to force them to quit is not going to work and you're just basically wasting a little bit of your time. Now, I'm not saying that it's, it's not good for you to not try, because if you do try, it's showing them that you love them and you care about them and you want what's best for them. They would see that. But most people say, yes, it's addicting and yes, it's hard to get away with or get, a get away from. But the best way for them to quit is by them making their decision to quit. You can't force someone to stop uh, smoking. <laughs> Topic number two. Well, most people already know this. And I just want people to worry about this. Yes, I'm talking about, you know, cigarettes and stuff. Let's go ahead and talk about weed. And I know how much most people are like, oh, this shit, come on, we all know it's a drug. No, it's not. Weed is a... <clears throat> a plant. And there's a chemical on that plant that is absolutely healthy. And when they actually make the stuff, they add a little bit of something that is bad. And that's what gets... It's not really bad bad like it's gonna extremely hurt you to the point where it's, you're, it's gonna put your health in jeopardy it's just more of you getting high the only reason why the government is not legalizing it in every single state is because it's not taxable basically they can't tax it so that's why it's illegal in some states unlike the new state that just legalized it is Oklahoma which is the state right above me. So, with that being said, no. Marijuana is not a drug. A drug is consists of two compounds. Or, not two compounds, it's more of two products making a compound that will affect your body, which 
officers if you watch this live stream and you know who I am. Which, I mean, of course, I don't get in trouble. But it's just something that I learned on GTA. But I don't really necessarily think that it's a good idea to make a lab out of it. Or start making it or selling it. I'm against drugs. That are illegal. The only one that I'm not, you know, going to, you know, support the law of against is weed because it's technically not a drug. <coughs> so, with that being said, <coughs> and yes, your parents will say the same thing that I'm going to tell you. Yes, we know it's not a, even. You know what? Let's put it in my parents, my adopted parents' point perspective. They know it, and my dad actually, you know, one day he picked me up for I forgot what what reason. Oh, it was, you know, to celebrate. Uh, what was it? Father's Day. So. You know, he went to go and pick me up. You know, to go to my aunt's. Or not my aunt's, but my grandmother's. He specifically told me that, hey, we all know that, you know, uh, did you hear about this? I mean, my parents are religious. They don't do drugs. They don't even accept weed as it is. Or, if they catch you with it, you're gonna be in serious motherfucking trouble. But my dad, who is religious, told me this. Even though weed is, you know, not really technically a drug, it's just something that the government is trying to enforce not having into society well yes he is right and no he is wrong if that would be the case because one if you're gonna destroy God's creation and it's so full a sin to destroy God's creation well God created this earth and we're all trying to just fucking destroy it you know, getting these resources. So, with that being said, is simply this. I forgot where I was going. You see, when I get off, kind of a little bit off topic, it, I forget. So, oh yeah, there we go. If you can, it's, so it's it's basically a sin. Well, it's a sin to destroy stuff, right? You know, kill people. Uh, kill animals. Well, if you really want weed off the planet, well, then you're basically destroying God's uh, God's creation, and of course, that is a sin. And most people look at it. Well, it's it's not really technically a sin if it's not alive. Well, I'm sorry. Let's go back to science class, shall we, you son of a dumbass? <laughs> and science, plants are living things. 
Even though they don't talk like us and they can't see us. But they eat, they drink, and they still breathe because they have both those sentences. So therefore, a plant is technically alive, just like a tree. And just like you and me. So, if they really want to get rid of the whole reed processing, they would have to kill a plant in which that is against God's green earth. And if God didn't want it on earth, he would have not even created weed. And the reason why, you know, weed is actually healthy is because it's also an herb. And this is one thing that my roommate keeps telling me about. Is that some of the herbs that you use in seasoning your foods also have a, a role in keeping your body healthy. And she told me that and then she's, she's also studying this. Um, she's going to college for learning how to make medicines and then ship it to everywhere. That is her ultimate goal. And I'm suppo I support her with it. You know, and it's not like, oh, hey, she's going to be a, you know, a meth head and make meth. Because at, at, at that point, I'd be like, yeah, no. No, she's going to be, she's going to actually make a farm. Or a decent size of a bit of land. And this is just her in the future. She's gonna have every plant known to mankind and make medicines with them. So that you can, you know, stop going to the dock for a medicine that's gonna ha cause you to have more fucking problems than the problem that you already went in there for. So, she's gonna, she's gonna have a nice, bright future for you, ladies and gentlemen. And I absolutely support her. You know, she's, she's, you know, it's like me. But mine is a little bit different. If I ever get rich, I don't care how I do it. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to go and rob a bank. But if I do ever get rich and I have a whole lot of people behind my back, you know, helping me, not stabbing me in the back, but, you know, have my back, I want to go to, like, Africa and all these other places that don't have, you know, the luxury hospitals that we have here in the United States. And I will literally build a hospital, find a way to transport vehicles to those cities, and hire people to those cities to help people in other countries that don't have the luxury we have. And that is my ultimate goal. <laughs> so, regardless if you guys are like, oh no, you just want to get rich so you can buy a Lamborghini. I don't really don't care about it. You know what? Yes, I like Lamborghinis, but no. I really do enjoy helping people. But that's one ultimate goal. And that's the top ultimate goal I have. See, I don't... I don't give two shits about the fame. 
I don't give two shits about me, you know, getting what I want. It's what I'm gonna do with what I'm gonna, what I want. See, unlike, you know, these already rich billionaires and millionaires and all these nice, you know, people. You know what they use for their money? Expensive stuff. And I get it, you know, they, they did earn for their money. But they could do a whole lot more to help this planet than the people who are poor and are less greedy than they are. Now, of course, you got, you know, some celebrities that will go to, like, a hospital and etc. to visit some people. That's, you know, of course, they're going to be happy to see you. I mean, you're a fucking celebrity. So, I mean, pardon my French, but... Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, mamma mia. Alright, so I'm gonna... Wait. I wanna see what's on the other side of this. Fast ocean and a nice island. Hmm. I won't be able to do anything with that. So, what to go up in the high in the sky? Oh, yep. We won't be able to see those clouds. So. On that mountain, right over there, we're going to have our main... It's either that one or that one. We're going to have our main structure. This whole island is going to be a new kingdom. So out here, we're going to have towers. And we're going to have multiple towers being built. And this is just the planning. Right now, I'm building the, the, the first fortress, so it's going to be straight across. Now, this uh, mountain won't be taken down. So instead of the actual whole island being, you know, cupped into it, I'm going to cut it off here. And we're going to have the front section to where this water is going to have a waterfall coming down. So this is why I am fixing this little hole. But instead of it just making it into a hole, I'm going to cut this. Uh, what is this? Oh, wait. What is this? A block that outputs a redstone signal signal base on sunlight or lack of sunlight if inserted. Ah. So Okay. Uh, it doesn't really have any useful use. So, we're going to go ahead and 
We're gonna need some. Voila. make it into a cave and yes it's gonna have the water but it's gonna the water is gonna go from all the way from here mm, to here and we're gonna, we're gonna leave a mic there so we're gonna go to here go to up one So
So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to do the outline, the main buildings, and what the buildings could look like. Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen, the, le the day before I go to my first day at working. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to cut out from here. Ah, just perfect. So, and then of course it's going to curve from, oh, that's going to be hard, so, you know, it's going to be one straight line, so this chunk's going to be killed. Or, no, no, we're going to. There. And then we're going to cut from here. Oh, wait. That's going to go back. And that's going to go. Anything from that line will be cut off. 